from Mumbai and I am back in Dhanu in exactly one month and this time I've come for the the very first Dhanu festival and let me take you around and show you what all they're going to be having there's like a whole lot of events that are happening I don't know how much I'm going to be able to cover but as you can see behind me are the complete you know they have stalls they have stage they're going to have performances uh, later this evening after sunset a um, lot of local you know uh, musicians and dancers and um, as you saw the the event began with the lavani dance which was on the street it was like a huge street party and there were also the the tarpa dance which i went and enjoyed a bit with the you know the, the local tribal people from here which are the warli people so as you can see behind me they have all these kite flying events and different kinds of uh, boat rides there's banana boat and jet ski and i think there's a whole lot of stuff so let me see i am going to try and um, let's see maybe i'll i'll do something i'm still not sure it's a really hot day and uh, but yeah thankfully here on the on the beach now it's a little cooler because it's at least the wind is blowing uh back there also they have some sand sculptures and uh, there are bike rides and uh, camel rides and just a whole lot of activities i think for the next two days there's going to be a lot of entertainment happening around here i am going to be here uh, today and tomorrow part of tomorrow so let's see what else we can do kai chikku vadi so this is a chikku vadi okay chikku chips ani chikku chips chikku chips hai Okay so this is dried uh, chikku chips There seem to be quite a lot of stalls selling a variety of products a lot of local stuff as well Thankfully it's a little bit of shade because we are in the middle of all this uh, pine trees So this beach has pine trees unlike the other beaches that are generally have uh, you know coconut plantations or coconut trees this one is full of pine as you can see i am going to check out some of the stalls and see what else i can pick up <laughs> and uh, there are some other events happening in different places which is all part of the festival so i'm going to see which events i can try and um, you know capture or go and attend so there are many things uh, happening but i just need to see where i can get all that information so now i'm at the stall uh, which has amazing fruit wines and this is their brand it's called Suzante now i've been you know looking out to see where i can go and do the wine tasting because i've read about this you know this is one of the first regions and they are the first ones to actually experiment and make chikku wine and chikku as we know is the you know most uh, cultivated fruit here in dhanu so they have wine tasting tours which is part of the dhanu festival but because they cannot do the tasting here i mean since you know there's no license to sell alcohol here they have their restaurant just down the road where they conduct the wine tasting so i am going to you know get myself my pass which 
I just got myself and uh, it's throughout the day. So in some time I'll be going down there to try out the fruit wines and I'm really excited because they have some amazing flavors. So there's chiku, mango, strawberry, star fruit and pineapple. I'm really excited to try the wine, especially the chiku wine and the star fruit. I just got myself some Neera at the stall behind. Mm. It is super hot and even though I haven't had anything, I drove non-stop. I am really not interested in eating. I'm just so thirsty. There are loads of stalls around here. So, plenty to eat and drink. Okay, that's the basic glider. These are run on fuel. Okay. And this operated by the remote control and battery. And battery, okay. That side one is the DDR. This is a DD model. Okay. This is a trike based solo. Solo. This is trike tandem. Tandem. This is with two people. Two people. Okay. You can slide this as well when you put it on. Okay. Put it on. Where there is a bar here in the front and there is another seat. Okay, but so both two of them will be running and taking. Okay. So we have that. We might attach it in the evening and maybe have a flight. Or Thanks. It's good. I think I'm literally surviving on liquids today. Now I'm going to find some place to park myself, just like the rest of the people here. I'll go and sit under a tree because it's extremely hot. Chiku chips, chips, ah, that's chiku chips. And that is all the, and that's some star fruit which I absolutely love. So I'm gonna have some now. They have a separate section for veg and non-veg, and what you see behind me here is now the non-veg section, and there's a whole variety of foods, coastal food, seafood, chicken, meats, I mean. They have some amazing stuff here. So there's fried pomfret, there's crabs, bhakri, puran poli. 
है चिकन चिकन ग्रीन चिकन फिश में क्या है रोटी मेड आउट ऑफ राइस एंड सम राइस एंड ग्रेवी एंड दैट्स माई लंच टूडे सो दिस इज एक्चुअल you know authentic um, village style cooking this is so delicious such a unique flavor and it's it's home cooking it's made by these ladies so it's not restaurant style kind of food it's it's home food enjoy my lunch and this entire thing just this rice one roti with the chicken curry cost me 120 bucks totally worth it see you guys later i am heading off to the place where i'm staying the night and um, yeah i'll come back later i'm going to go and take a shower freshen up uh rest for a bit which are paid which are uh, free some are just display um, like the sand art which is on display i am actually quite keen to do the village tour so let me see fisherman village tour 10 o'clock 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock it's a 2 hour tour okay it's away from the venue obviously let me see Absolutely crazy. I didn't expect this much of crowd in the evening. I mean, I saw the crowds coming in. Thank God, I came in the morning and covered quite a bit. Now there's like barely even place to walk. Ah, not see. Crowds are still just coming in and coming out. I just did a kasal thali massage, and it's a nice foot massage, and it was really good. I'm kind of feeling much lighter on my feet now. I guess with all that walking, I really needed it. It's like really crowded. It's just insane.
festival and now I am walking back to my car. It was just too crowded. I thought I would eat dinner there but uh, so since it was too crowded and no proper place to sit or stand and eat, I decided to just parcel something. So I got myself some fried fish and bhakri. I mean when you're in these kind of places, I love to enjoy the bhakris. 